Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, what is up, Force here, and today we have patch 1.13, which of course most notably includes the addition of the brand new hero Doomfist, but pretty much everything that can be said about him has been said already. We've made videos talking about his abilities and showing off gameplay, so today in this video I want to focus less on the new hero, who I'm sure you're all playing right at this very moment, but instead talk about some of the other changes that came, including some pretty big balance updates for a few heroes. So let's run through the new additions and changes besides Doomfist in 1.13. First off, we've got the update to McCree's Flashbang. It's now the case that stun targets are slowed heavily, meaning that they're less likely to escape while stunned. Now, what's interesting about this is I found it most useful on kind of fast-moving characters. In particular, you look at like a speed-boosting Lucio, and it's now the case that Flashbang will pretty much stop him dead in his tracks. He'll get another foot or so of movements, but then he'll drop straight to the ground. However, if we're talking about something like Farah's jump jets or Genji's dash, it looks like even if Flashbang still applies, they still get the full movement of those abilities before they are actually stunned. After the testing that we have done, it doesn't look like you're going to stop a Genji mid-dash or you're going to stop a Farah mid-jump jet. It's just that once those abilities are done, they will be stunned. It's it's really this change is going to impact uh, particularly someone like Lucio, a fast moving character. But if you think that you're going to be stopping a Genji or a Pharah or a Doomfist dead in their tracks, it doesn't look like that is actually the case. So it's interesting because initially I thought that that's what this change meant. Uh, moving on, we've got the change to Reaper's Shadow Step. The sound effect and VO distance has been reduced by 50%. So the sound that Shadow Step makes, the little shimmery effect, as well as the the, the voice line that he does is repositioning. Those two things have been reduced in distance by 50%. The idea here is similar to the change that they did with Sombra, making it so that it's not heard as far a distance. It makes it so that it can be used in a much more stealthy manner without alerting the entire enemy team. <sighs> We also saw the change for Reinhardt and increase to his swing speed by 10%. Now what's interesting about this change, as mentioned in the developer notes, is this was actually done to combat something which was making it so that certain players, depending on their latency, were able to get in extra swings. And there was also some issues kind of with the hit registration of his hammer. This is stuff we've talked about a few times in the past in videos. Now this change and this flat increase by 10%, it's a really nice little buff to Reinhardt's outgoing damage and they did say that some of the hit registration issues have also been addressed. So all around, Reinhardt is swinging faster now than he has in the past, and he should be hitting and feeling much more consistent. And just in general, playing Reinhardt should be feeling better. And finally, I think the biggest change and buff that we saw here was to Zarya. Graviton Surge now disables mobility abilities on all affected targets. So in the past, it was a bit inconsistent. Some heroes could use movement abilities, some heroes couldn't use movement abilities. Abilities. And what this meant that it was that for certain heroes, Zarya's ultimate wasn't that threatening, but for other heroes, it was a death sentence. Now, basically everyone hit by Zarya's Graviton Surge is going to be locked in place. Now, there are a few notable exceptions. First off, Orisa's Fortify will get her out. Reaper can actually Wraith Form out, even though it, it does let him move out, which no other hero but Orisa can do now. I guess it, again, falls in line more so with May's Ice Block, but basically everyone else, Tracer isn't going to be leaving, nobody basically but Arisa, Reaper, and May are able to deal with the Graviton Surge now, and that's going to make it much more effective, and that's why people are talking about how this is actually a real big buff for Zarya, and kind of a boost to her um, viability, if you will. So really happy with those changes. We did see two other hero changes, one to Diva and Genji, they're both essentially the same thing, they're new sound effects for when ultimates have been negated. Now, in addition to this, we did see a few other changes of note. We've got that loot box update, which is going to greatly reduce duplicates and then also make it so that we're getting more currency, at least the same, if not slightly more currency than we did in the past when we do actually get duplicates. That's a positive change the community has been clamoring about and wanting for quite some time. They had an update to their highlight system. They also adjusted the respawn timing to limit defensive stalling strategies when the offensive team has a clear advantage and plays aggressively. Basically, they're making stalling 
handling tactics less effective. So overall, patch 1.13, pretty exciting one. Again, we have the new hero Doomfist, awesome stuff, but some of these balance changes I think are really, really uh, something to be excited about. All right, everybody. Well, that is going to do it for me here today, wrapping up patch 1.13. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good one. And until next time, I'll see you later.